It's very light. Yes. It's lighter than a lot of the ones that I see. Here, I'll put it on the video. You can see it. is always that light? Um, it depends. I mean, a modern one, definitely not. It's like twice as heavy as this. But, uh, yeah, they're all a little different depending on the year and, you know. But this is a very nice light one. It's really light and it's very thin and almost dense, but thin look, it's really nice. Got lucky again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you, you saw it not as just a crushed piece of junk, you knew what it was because you're able to fix it, you know? Or a lot of people would just see that as, as worthless, you know? It's like somebody who works on cars can see like an old messed up, you know, poor vet, and they know that it's worth millions of dollars even though it looks all rusty and stuff, you know? Well, maybe not millions, but you know. steam isn't hot enough I get that kind of uh, wrinkly oh okay and, yeah yeah I'm using a, a closed steamer yeah well I mean no uh, these are pretty they're close steamers too but they're pretty uh, strong yes. jiffy ones I'm gonna be doing a thing like uh, with them soon jiffy steamer some kind of like you know like discounts or, uh, oh, okay. yeah are you watching out for that yeah, yeah, I contacted them and I said, I want, you know, would you like to work with me? I've got some ide ideas and they're like, yeah, now I got to think of some ideas. <laughs> so, yeah, we get to uh, do that refreshing every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, I'll do some uh, like a uh, home steamer uh, tutorial kind of thing. And, um, you know, they'll, they'll give me uh, some sort of code for like the viewers that you could buy it like at a discount, you know, you could buy whatever on that website. And then somehow I'm supposed to get something out of it. <laughs> Last time I, I got a free steamer. Sometimes like it helps to use these kind of motions, these kind of very, you know, smooth, mm -hmm. to get those smooth lines, you know, rather than like, you know, pinching in different places. Yes, you get to, sort of like a smoother thing. And then, uh, you get rid of some of those bumps as well. It was, it was shapeless and crushed. And That's amazing. With a lot of with some stains on it. Oh, that luckily, really? You did that too? That luckily brushed off. Just brushed off, okay. Yeah, I used the sponge. Not the, you know, the, um, the orange, orange sponge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have one in gray, I think, somewhere. Very gingerly, and I had some of the. Um, so it wasn't really stains, it was almost like yeah, dust. It was dust that yeah, it was like, like surface sea kind of stuff, yeah. Up, forward, get that flange back, mm -hmm. kind of straighten it, straighten the edge. Okay, so, so do the entire, the entire brim first, and then... I usually do the brown first and then the brim. Sometimes I'll do a side, 
back, and then the other side. Other times I'll just do like the whole back and then the whole front. Gotcha. Yeah, like this area needs to be pushed up just a little. Yeah, there's two lumps in it here and there. Mm -hmm. They flatten out and they lose that scoop, so you have to get that back, and that allows you to snap it well, you know? Gotcha. Back to this now. The shape you did is really good though. I wouldn't change much, yeah. I learned, I watched you, you know? Mm -hmm. Just like you said, kind of sharpen those lines. The steamer's hotter. You said on the videos, try this out, you know, this, you, try doing this out, and this is how you do it. It's like, that was fantastic. That's it. it. It helps to watch somebody, you know, the videos, and and you just, you try it, you know, you'll mess up a little at first. It might burn your arms a little, it might happen. Just try to keep the head between you and the, and the steam, you know. So hard to get them even with yeah. symmetry. That's tough. Always. I suppose like you have a perfect size hands, you know, with your fingers. You <laughs> like talk them, like twist it in like that. Yeah. Shake. It helps when you have that really hot steam. It's much easier. Actually, really like what you did. Um, Thank you. Yeah. I sort of like. I don't know if you can say that's like leaving some of the mistakes in, but I like it to still look like it's done by your hands. You know. Yes. So it doesn't look just like this. Those new stamped out types. I think it. When you do that, it detracts from the the vintage quality. Yeah, too perfect, right? Over restored. Yeah, it, you could just tell that this was done by somebody's hand and it, it, right. it looks like different from the newer ones, you know?
try to keep it like 95% your shape. I noticed it looked really good when I saw you outside. It was just like very low the way you did it. And it just looks so good. It's no reason to undo anything really. It's like you said, sharpened up a couple of things. I brought the front down the tiniest, no, up. Yes. I actually brought it up in the back down just so it doesn't look so like square so much gotcha. Gotcha. Um, maybe that's a little better we could try that's the only thing i see left really yeah it's really lightweight isn't it say again it's very lightweight isn't it yeah so light it's like almost it could be like a spring or summer kind of hat. I mean, it didn't feel hot wearing it today, you know, and it's... Exactly. It's a you know, good old June. I'm, I was going to say, this is the kind of hat you actually can. Especially without that silk lining, it's even lighter and lighter. Yeah, if you could feel a modern one compared to this, it's much heavier. <laughs> and now folks it's time to say good night we sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment please drive home carefully and come back again soon good night <laughs>